Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kendra and today my team and I are sharing projects made with the new Card Cut Essentials dies 1 and 2 that I designed and are now available for purchase at Pink and Main. Each of these die sets include a big 6x6 die that will cut a full sheet of 6x6 paper in one pass through your die cutting machine and give you a bunch of different shapes that you can use to create different card layouts. It also includes additional shapes and banners. Now this is a giveaway hop so stay tuned for how to enter to win a prize from me. But there are two different dies that you can purchase individually but you can also get these as a bundle. And what's great about the bundle is that you also get a free download that contains 56 card sketches. That is a lot of card making ideas. Now this die set is great for beginners because not only does it give you ideas for card layouts, but you also get these fishtail banners in two different sizes that are great for cutting out sentiments. And you also get hearts, stars, hexagons, plus most of the dies have stitching so it adds extra flair to your projects. And it also comes with a word and shadow die that says hello in a scripty font and a zigzag circle plus a zigzag or rick rack uh, border strip and lots of different flags and banners. You can use many of these shapes to create shaker cards as well. Now if you missed my introduction video yesterday when the new release products launched, I will link that above and in the description box so you can learn more about how I created these dies and check out all of the cards that I created using my two sheet wonder freebie. With this free PDF download, I provide six sketches showing how to cut two sheets of pattern paper with these 6x6 dies and use each of the pieces and not have any scraps left over. This PDF is available to download by all members of my Patreon, both free and paid. And in order to join as a free member, all you have to do is enter your email address. Once you're a member, you can find the link to this freebie under the Collections tab under Bonus Printables over on my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Kendra's Card Challenges. In my video, I shared the six finished cards that I created with this Two Sheet Wonder freebie. So today I'm going to show how I put together one of these cards using the Pink and Main paper pad called Be Kind and also some coordinating cardstock from my stash. I actually cut up these 10 sheets of paper using the dies so that I could mix and match the patterns to make a bunch of cards. If you've been a subscriber to my channel for a while, you know that I like to make cards in bulk and I try to use up all of the pieces so that I don't have any scraps left over. So I also used this Pink and Main stamp set. This is called Hap Be Fall. This is the stamp of the month for August of 2024 and it did have coordinating dies. And I also used a sentiment from this stamp set here called Sweet as Honey. I have all of the pieces already cut, including my card base. And I went ahead and stamped the sentiment that says Happy B Day in the middle of one of the smaller stitch squares that I cut from some white cardstock. The other two stitch squares were cut using the pattern paper and I colored the bees and the beehive off camera using Copic markers. I thought it would be fun to have the beehive hanging from the top of the card so I decided to use this white and gold twine also from Pink and Main and I'm placing it behind this long stitched rectangle piece. I attached the twine to the back of the strip with some mint tape to hold it in place and then I'm adding some liquid glue so that I can scoot it in place and make sure that it's straight when I add it to my card base. And I'm just gluing this directly onto the card base. You could add a layer here if you'd like. Now for the three stitch squares, I added some foam tape to the back to give them some dimension and I also added some foam tape to the back of the beehive. I'll be sharing additional cards made with all of these cut pieces from the 10 sheets that I cut with the dies and I'll be sharing these over on Instagram and a few in some future videos so I hope you'll follow me on all of my socials. These are in my link tree in the description box below plus I'll have a few more two sheet wonder files that I'll be posting in the next few weeks to my Patreon. So be sure to join my Patreon and turn on your email notifications so you'll get notified when I post them. So I added three gold flat back pearls in the top right hand corner and also one that next to the sentiment there to finish off this card. And I love how cute this turned out and it was so quick and easy. 
Now I'll show you another card that I made using the same card sketch layout. Now since this is a giveaway, all you need to do to enter is complete the form that's linked in the description box before August 22nd. And I'll be randomly selecting the winner after the hop ends and I will announce it on my YouTube channel over under the community tab. The links to purchase these card cut essentials dies are also listed below and these are affiliate links which means if you make a purchase I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you and this helps to support my channel. Remember if you purchase the bundle you get a discount and you get all of those card sketches. You'll want to get these before they sell out. To hop along to get lots of card making inspiration using these dies, click on the playlist that I have linked in the description box. I love having all the videos in a playlist because all I have to do is just let it play. So when you get through with the hop, I'd love it if you would check out my other Pink and Main videos. Each month I create cards with the Pink and Main Crafty Courtyard kits and I think these card cut essentials dies go perfectly with those. So I can't wait to share some more card ideas with future kids. I hope you enjoyed the hop. Thank you so much for watching and happy crafting!